Today on our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118534. Here's what our wiring is going to look like once it's installed on the vehicle. This wiring harness is going to work very well for all of your applications that are going to need to connect to a four pole harness. It has a powered module box, which is going to help give you plenty of power here, but it's also going to help to separate this system from the vehicle's electrical system. So that way you don't risk the same type of damage you would if you just wired in directly. It also has T connectors that go into the factory connections at the rear of the tail lights, which are going to make it easier for installation. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install this wiring. Here's everything that's going to come with our kit. We're going to have our module box, which is going to be mounted to a surface on our vehicle somewhere near the driver's side tail light. And we're going to have our brown and yellow wires that come out to the T connector here. And that's going to plug in to the connector that's on the back of the driver's side tail light. Then we've also got our length of green wire that's going to go over to the other T connector that goes behind the passenger side tail light. I have our four pole wiring with the four pole connector on the end with molded dust cap. We'll have our white ground wire with ring terminal at the end in order to ground our system. And then here we've got our power wire and that's going to go up to the vehicle's battery and it's going to be connected to our length of wire in order to do that. Then we've got our hardware kit here that's going to include some zip ties, inline fuse holder, and some other things to make all of our electrical connections. First thing we're going to need to do to begin our installation is we'll need to remove both of our tail light assemblies. So we've got our two 10 millimeter bolts here that we'll need to take out. Then we'll gently work our tail light towards the rear of the vehicle. And then we'll undo our connector, which we've got this red keeper tab that we'll need to pop out and pull it towards the little tab that we'll need to press down there. So then we'll repeat that same process for the tail light on the other side. Now we'll want to find a good location to mount our module box. And we're going to mount it just down here in the bottom side of our driver's side tail light opening. But I've got a rag with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it just to help clean that surface so it's going to adhere well with the double sided sticky tape. Now before we mount our module box there, because we're going to have to feed some wires down through that side, I'm going to go ahead and connect my power wire that's going to run up to the battery to the power wire coming off my module box. So I'm going to strip one end of that length of wire back, install one of my yellow butt connectors and crimp it down. Then into the other end, I'll put it onto the power wire coming off the module box. Then I'll take some electrical tape and wrap up this connection just to help prevent water getting in there and corroding our good connection. Now keep in mind all the electrical connections that I'll be making for this installation, I'll be doing the same thing too with the electrical tape. Now what we'll begin doing is routing our wires that are going to need to go underneath, which is going to be our black power wire, our four pole wiring with connector, and then our green T connector. We're going to need to route those underneath. So it's nice and open coming down the side here. Now with our module box, we can peel off the cover on our sticky tape and stick it down to the area that we cleaned off earlier. Now we'll take the ring terminal that's on the end of our white wire coming off our module box and we'll use the self-tapping screw that comes with the kit in order to ground it. You want to make sure that you're getting it into some metal. So I'm going to ground mine right over here. But you also want to be sure that behind where you're grounding it, that there's nothing that you may damage, like wiring or any hoses. Now we can begin making the connections between the factory plug 
and our T connector here. You want to make sure those click so that you know they're securely together. Then we'll plug it in and reinstall our tail light. So we routed the green wire that had the T connector for the other side, routed that up along the underside of our bumper, keeping it just on top of our fascia support brackets, routed it along, continued along that same route, up over the exhaust here. And when we route this, we do want to be sure to keep this as far away from the exhaust as we can. So once we make our connections up top, we'll come back down and make sure that that's secure away from the exhaust. And then I used a fish wire in order to fish it up through the opening to the passenger side tail light. And for the fish wire that I used, I used an old piece of airline tubing, but you can also use a coat hanger or something of that nature, something that's going to be a little bit stiffer in order to help pull it up through there. And I just taped that connector to the end of it. And for the four pole wiring, we brought that along the same path as we did that green T connector wire and over. We bundled up the extra here and zip tied it and then brought it down to our hitch. And I just put a little bit of black electrical tape along the end here just to help give it a little bit cleaner look. Now we can make our connections here behind our passenger side tail light. And then reinstall our tail light. Then we routed the black wire up to the front, ran it over the hitch there, so it's between the trunk pan and the hitch. I just tucked it right up along that seam there, so it came out here. And then you'll want to secure it along the way with zip ties, and I ran it along that frame rail, over the shock mount, and then on the outside of the fuel tank and kept it near the brake lines. Then right here, went into the subframe, came up and then out right here underneath where the driver's feet would be. And then over the top of our engine cradle mount here and up towards the brake booster into the engine compartment. Then it came up here just behind the battery then I routed it over so I keep it along this wire loom and then cut it off with the length I need. Now I can take my inline fuse holder. I'm just going to cut that a little bit off center. Then I'll strip both ends of that back. And on the shorter end, I'm going to put yellow butt connector. Comes with the kit. And then on the longer end, put a yellow ring terminal that comes with the kit. Now I'll take the end of my black wire, strip that back, and install that into the other end of my yellow butt connector. Now we're ready to connect our ring terminal to the positive side of our battery. So we can use a 10 millimeter socket, and we'll take that flange nut off right there that's holding our cable on. And we'll take the ring terminal, and slide it on right over and replace that nut. Once we've done that, we can install our 15 amp fuse and get ready to test our system to make sure that it's working properly. So with everything hooked up, we're gonna use part number I26 in order to test it and make sure that all of our circuits are working properly. So first, let's check our tail lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal, and brake lights. That's going to complete our look at an installation of the Tecancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118534 on our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.